What is up guys and welcome back to another raid shadow legends video with me the real deal so today we're gonna to be doing a guide on one of my favorite champions it's leoris the proud he is the king of arena an absolute beast definitely top three nuka in the game um he's also good in doom tower and uh, dungeons for clearing waves but really he is like arena specialist especially with the kit that he's got and yeah he just hits so damn hard and not just that he looks really cool as well he's one of my favorite looking champions in the game Love his uh, double machetes that uh, glow as well. Just looks so cool. So what we're going to do is we'll talk about gear, skills and masteries. So um, first off, sorry, first off, you want him in savage or lethal and then offset. You'd either want crit damage or crawl. Um, unfortunately, I didn't have the gear to get those sort of stats. So I had to go with perception instead. But a broken set's perfectly fine as well. It's all about. You know, you basically need that Savage first to get that. Ignore 25% first. And then it's about getting those substats. So weapon. Um, sorry. And then substats we want to be looking for are crit damage and uh, crit rate and attack percentage and speed. And then after that, you could either go resistance or um, accuracy. So we'll talk about that in a moment. Uh, gloves, we've got crit damage. Chest, we've got a uh, uh, sorry attack percentage and then attack percentage on the boots as well. Attack ring with substats of attack as well, really important. Uh, crit damage on the amulet and either you can go resistance or accuracy depending on how you're going to build him. And then speed and uh, attack percentage with attack on the banner ideally if you can. So let's have a look at the total stats. So 34k HP. Um, you do want a decent amount of HP on him because if he's got a bit of more, uh, the more survivability he has, the more turns you can get with him and the more chance you have of ending the uh, team. Attack, you want more than 5k attack. Um, so I've got 5.3. Um, and then speed. Um, I like my Nukas to be above 200. I know a lot of other con uh, sorry, content creators like them to be about uh, 180 and above. So with Leores, um, sort of 180 to 190 is quite good because you do want him to be slow because if he does take hits, it means he's going to hit harder. Um, crit rate, you always want to hit that crit cat of 100. Uh, and then crit damage, you've got 280, so he's going to absolutely smack. Um, and then resistance and accuracy. So accuracy, I'd like it to be a bit higher. Unfortunately, I couldn't reach it with the stats that I want, but you want like 200 above. So um, that means you have more chance of landing that true fear. So, you know, especially on their nukers, um, you know, on their support champions as well. So if they've got any strippers or debuffers, there's a good chance you could land fear on them. Of course, if they've got like a high resistance um, reviver like Duchess, of course, you're not going to land that true fear. But on the rest of the team, you have a very good chance of landing it. And that can just CC and lock out their team as well. Um, the other thing you could do, though, is if you're going to go resistance path, I would say you want like around 400 resistance. So the reason you want resistance is just to protect your unkillable buff. Um, to stop someone trying to steal it or remove it from you. So skills, um, this is one of the reasons why it's so strong is that, um, so oh, it's these three abilities here actually, it's A2, it's A3 and his passive. Um, but yeah, he, the, his skill set is just absolutely amazing. Um, so True Grit is his passive and it instantly places an unkillable buff on this champion for one turn before he receives a fatal hit. So even if you drop him down to like 5% HP, this isn't going to proc, so that means you're guaranteed, or almost guaranteed, unless they do something sneaky on you, another two turns. Um, and then passive effect, damage increases as this champion's HP decreases by 1% for every 1% of HP lost. So, um, of course, the lowest it can go is 1% HP, and that means it can increase his damage by 99%. So he already hits hard, but this is almost going to double his damage, so he's going to even smack even harder. Um, but you can counter this. So the way to uh, counter his unkillable buff is by using um, either stripping it or someone that goes through it like Gembo or Rotos. Or the third way is putting uh, block um, block buffs on him. So you can do that with like Ugo, for example, and that will be stop him from being able to do that. So that's a good way to counter him. Um, so then his A3, Awesome Raw, um, has 100% when fully, sorry, 100% chance when fully booked to place True Fear debuff for one turn and then and um, before attacking has a hundred percent chance for fully booked of placing weaken for two turns so he's gonna put weaken on the enemy then he's gonna hit 
and that's going to increase his damage as well. And this is a, you know, this hits really hard. Um, but then also that true fear as well. So if they don't die, there's a very good chance that they're going to miss a turn and it's going to put one of their really important skills on cooldown. True fear is a very annoying debuff to deal with. So A2 attacks all enemies twice. And uh, basically, when it's not on cooldown, it means he's going to be immune to stun, freeze, sleep, provoke, fear, true fear, and parrots on vacation. So petrification. Um, so it's almost like you can't control him. And he's just going to, you know, he is like Skull Crown, very similar to Skull Crown. Hits really hard, but he can't be CC'd. So strong. Um, there are ways to counter this, though. So um, putting block active skills on him. So that means he can only use his A1. Or you can use a champion that increases cooldowns like Warlord or Basher um, or any champion that can do that. And that's a good way to counter him as well. And then we've got his A1 as well, which hits also very, very hard. All of these abilities just smack. Uh, but yeah, attacks one enemy twice. Each hit has a 60% chance of placing decreased defense for two turns. And that's the strong version of decreased defense. And... The damage is increased by 20% if the target has less than 60 HP. So there's a very good chance he's going to put decreased damage on them. Oh, sorry, decreased defense. And it's just going to hit really, really hard. I mean, it hits really hard anyway, but it's going to increase as well if they've got um, less than 60 HP. So yeah, his kit is absolutely amazing. Blessings. So I've gone for Soul Reaper because, you know, he hits hard. Or sorry, Soul Reap um, because he hits really hard and he is a nuka. So it's good for him to have that because it is going to increase his damage. The only other one that I'd recommend taking is Lightning Cage. Um, so because basically um, this can protect his unkillable buff from being stripped. So or if you pair him up with champions that are going to put loads of buff on him, buffs on him as well, then Lightning or sorry, Lightning Cage is going to protect those buffs. So it's a very good option as well to do that. But yeah, those are definitely the two that I'd recommend. And it is you know there's no. It doesn't have to be so fixed. It's not a, you can only use Soul Reaper. You can build champions however you want. You can mix it up. So masteries. Um, so I've gone down offense and defensive tree. Um, sort of very standard nuka build. So gone for extra crit rate. Um, and then in case the enemy have shields on them or they've got like Duchess who put shield on herself, we're going to make sure that we do more damage to them if they put shields on. Then we want our first hit to hit extra hard as well. And then if we have put like CC on the enemy, um, then we're going to do more damage to them as well. And that's the thing as well, because we've got true fear as well, that is a good reason for it to be on Leoris as well. Then we want a bit of extra crit damage. We want to inflict more damage to enemies that have less than 40% HP. Uh, we want to increase our damage with targets that have um, higher HP than us as well, which is very likely. Um, and then kill streak to increase our damage when we start killing people. And then Hell Smasher for that extra ignore defense as well. So yes, it's all about damage on that side. Um, and then defense. So a little bit of resistance to help. Um, then we want to increase the amount of healing and shields that this champion receives. Um, Resurgence as well has a 50% chance of removing one random debuff from this champion when they lose 25% of their max HP. This is really strong on Leoris. So for example, if Sun did put block active skills on us, then Sun hits us really hard. We're going to remove that debuff. And even if they dropped us down to 1% HP, we still got that unkillable as well. So we are still going to get our turn. And then likely we're going to drop the other team. Delay death to reduce the damage that we receive. And then retribution and uh, deterrence just to get counterattacks off as well. So just to talk about um, just some alternative um, masteries you could take. So you could also take um, Grim Resolve as well. So this is going to increase our damage for the so the less hp we have so if we lose um you know if we have less than 50 percent hp we are going to do five percent more damage as well so that's a good way to increase our damage um you could also take life drinker in as well so you know that could be healing him up so if he does go down to his unkillable um debuff everyone else is dead on your team then you can you know kill the other team and start healing yourself up so if one person stays alive you know, you can still heal yourself and win that one-on-one -on -one fight. The other thing you can take is Whirlwind of Death as well. So this is going to increase your HP up to, um, sorry, increase your speed up to 18. So if you kill three enemies, you're going to be even faster as well. So it's going to keep you going, have that momentum. Really good for PvE as well. 
And the other thing as well, cycle violence as well. So if he, because he hits so hard as well, there's a 37% chance. So yeah, there's a 37% chance of reducing the cooldown of one random skill by one uh, one turn. So that means that you can go around quicker to your A3 and your A2 as well. So just speeding up your damage as well. So that is an option as well, but that's more for um, PVE than arena. So we've looked at his skills, we've looked at his masteries, we've looked at gear. Now let's hop into arena and have some fun. Okay, so we're in gold five, uh, almost in plat, so a high gold five. This is looks like a really annoying team. We've even got Rotos in there who counters us, um, but hopefully we should be able to still beat this team comp. Um, so one of the great things about um, Liores is that he does counter Hegemon and Tormund. So let's try and showcase that. He also counters Gaius as well because he can't be sleeped. So we're going to come in, try and lock their team out, put them to sleep. Then we are going to hex their team. Loris is going to come in with big smacks from his A3. Okay, so um, Rotos is in unkillable gear right there. But he's locked out his A1, so that's good for us. So he's not going to... Oh, he's very close to killing Liores though. That's fine. Let's try and just knock down... Um, well, no. Doesn't matter. And we're going to cleanse. And let's slow it down so we can watch uh, Liores' damage. So let's do the A2. So we've got no... Well, we've only got one weaken, but no drop defense. And we've done sort of 100k across the board. What an absolute beast. So now I'm going to show you Liores as a solo artist. And this is something he really excels at. Um, so they've got Morley, Candrophon, Lydia. This is a really strong team comp. And he's going to beat it all by himself. And um, so as long as um, Lydia doesn't lock us out with her A1... That's brilliant. We're still good to go and getting those counter attacks as well. So this is the part well, where Canafron's basically dropped our HP. Now we're going to turn around and we are just going to absolutely slam their team. Um, so the two things that we need to watch out for is um, Arbiter knocking off our unkillable with her A2 um, and Lydia locking us out with her A1. Oh no, sorry, A3. So now it's our turn. We're going to put it really nice and slow and just watch this guy do some work. And there we go. Just soloed almost, what was it? 286k power, team power, and he soloed it by himself. That is how good this guy is. Okay, so Lurores is a really good counter to Tormund as well. Um, but this is a really strong team comp here as well. Sifi counters her as well. So Sifi, Kaima, Tormund and Baron. And we are going to knock this team out of the park. So speed boost from Arb. Then we're going to do decrease attack and drop defense with Madame. And Lurus is going to come in and drop their team one turn. Yeah, boy, that's what I'm talking about. So I've shown you how strong Lurus is. But I also want to show you that he can be countered as well. Um, so we've got Lady Kimmy and Madame here and Prince Kaimar. So potentially all of those can counter Liores. Um, so removing buffs, uh, you know, they've got two strippers there in Madame and um, Prince Kaimar. Madame also puts that decrease attack on us as well, which is really going to reduce our damage. So hopefully they should stay alive. Yep, they did. Um, we did manage to land True Fear on Lady Kimmy though. Um, and then Lady Kimmy should hopefully um, put block um, buffs on us. She didn't manage to do it, but she can strip as well. She's restricted and she put blocked, sorry, block buffs on us as well. So just to show you, he's not bulletproof and he can be beaten as well. I don't know what else I can say about this champion. As you can see, he's an absolute god in the arena. Top tier champion. If you do play him, he's an instant six star. And, you know, he's not just a beast. In arena offense but he will definitely do work for you on defense as well and if you're struggling to get into gold in 3v3 he will definitely carry you there um so that is pretty much the end of the video guys thank you so much for watching please leave me a cheeky thumbs up make sure you smash 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 that subscribe and i'll see you in my next video peace